Welcome guys and gals to the channel. I'm making this channel to upload all the stupid shit me and my friends do. <laughs> um, uh, I'm in the cars. Uh, I have a couple friends with some F bodies and you know, I just want to upload stupid shit of me building the cars and shit. So here in front of me, O2 Mustang GT, uh, Pro Charged, EDS blocks, Day Tree Patriot heads. But uh, he blew it up. So it was on, on methanol, but and uh, the methanol pump wasn't working. He got into it and got too hot and melted. So today I'm just gonna pull the motor. Pain in the ass, kind of, because the plug is for the O2 sensors. We're in a really bad spot, but uh, got it off. So, next is oh, yeah, sway bars, sway bar links. Okay, so we got the uh, sway bar unbolted. Um, I'm gonna drop it down a little bit. I'm gonna get a uh, wheel speed sensors unplugged and then shocks. You know, both those. I don't know. Um, what are you gonna do from up top? I don't know. You got the tranny unplugged. There's only a couple plugs on there. On the back. Up there, that's where I was talking about where that uh, O2 sensor plug is. Where you can't see it's too dark. But uh, yeah, this was like over top of it. This plug right there was over top. And so I had to get that one before I can get it. But, um. um Ah, oh, shit. Steering shaft. I gotta get steering shaft. I'll do that real quick. Alright. Um, so I got the steering shaft on bolted. Um, I'm now on to oh, wheel speed sensors. Hold the wheel line around. They're up in there. There's the plug. Yeah, that's it. They're plugged in there, so I got those unplugged. Everything up top should be good. Or a couple of wires I'm missing, I guarantee it, but uh, I'll unbolt this on both sides of the strut. After that, uh, should just be the bolts underneath and try to drop it. So. Alright, so got the struts on bolted, um, got that all dropped. Let's see, got this one undone. Uh, I did have some problems with the power steering lines. They were underneath that. I should be good to unbolt it and try to drop it. I'm gonna take a second glance at everything, but the plan is just set it down on the pallet and then loosen up the bolts. So, um, I got the shifter and everything unbolted. So I can slip down through. This thing's actually really clean though. It has 17,000 miles. I can't of course turn the key on to show you but it's been crashed i think three three or two times he's rolled it through a field but he never claimed it for insurance so it doesn't have an r title so he's got it fixed i think that's everything it's ready to come out okay uh new day got a little bit busy last time and couldn't couldn't finish it but uh about to record but uh i got it out uh, i missed a couple things of course um, fuel line uh fuel line there's a bolt on it still holding it together i had to take the pro charger off actually um, for it to actually clear or it hit the abs but uh take the harness off strip it down take the heads off and uh see how bad it is whether i'm gonna be broke or i can fix it without spending all my money on it 
who feeds that rock. Apparently like um, 8.40. But uh, got the heads off. Uh, not looking too bad. Uh, as of right now, I haven't stripped down the block or anything yet, but I gotta pull it off, put it on the engine stand. It's just this one cylinder right here. You see it pop. It got really hot and melted. There's metal shavings all through it, but all the other cylinders look fine. The head. There is one issue with the head I'm worried about, but uh, might not be too much of an issue. Good, good, good. Not good. Not good at all. But by the looks of it, it doesn't seem like it should affect it that much, hopefully. These heads are expensive. I'm not going to buy another set. Just uh, hope that it works. Which I don't see why not. I mean, barely melts it down a little bit. So It's kind of weird. Just the one cylinder did, but... It's better than all of them. So the next thing is uh, pull this motor up off this and set it on my engine stand over there and strip it down. Yeah, it already has ARPs and all the good stuff. But yeah, the plan is to uh, get bigger injectors. These injectors are only 60 pound injectors, so EV1s, they ain't cutting it. <laughs> I'm going to try to get probably 120 pound or so because I'm going to try to run this on a U85 make it run a lot cooler I was thinking about a water to air intercooler but uh, I think just the front mount a little bit cheaper and I mean it'd probably look a little bit better I mean sitting up in there a little front mount intercooler just right through here I should bring it down E85 should keep the temps a little bit down too Probably gonna get lowering springs for it and then some wheels and tires, probably some nittos or maybe small radials for the rear. So I don't think these are gonna hold up. One thing I am worried about is this rear end. <laughs> I don't think the rear end's gonna hold. It's still stock. Just just a gear in it, the 373 spool in it. We'll find out when it blows apart. I think probably not even broke in yet, honestly. <laughs> Woo. I got the engine uh, mounts unbolted, so lift that thing up and then I gotta take that clutch off first, lift it up and put it on the engine stand over there. There it is. Getting closer. <laughs> Alright, uh, fast forward a little bit and we're back uh, with the engine out of the cradle and completely stripped down. So honestly, a little bit worse than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, the bearings weren't spun, but they were all, yeah, they're worn down pretty bad. And they're all like this. So, it kind of did a little bit of wear on the crank. Um, nothing too, too bad, but I'm going to take it to the machine shop. I'm going to have to see if they can fix it. Of that I can feel with my fingernail, but some spots. That one down here, you can. I don't know if you can see that, but <clears throat> I can. I can feel that with my fingernail. It's pretty bad. Cylinder. <laughs> Turn, damn it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I don't know. You probably can't see that well down in there, but. Should be able to get re-sleeved. I don't think it hurt to block any, so. DSS level 10. 
so it's pretty cool so i'm gonna get that sent out to the machine shop and I'm gonna get new bearings and then i'm gonna get a new piston and rod because <laughs> yeah that's pretty bad yeah sort of burn into the rod so i'm gonna get a new one of those all the rest of them are good though they're all clean you get different rings and gap them but yeah